Praise God, praise God. I wanted to get up on here right quick and let you not guys know something. Okay, so Mark chapter 10 verse 9 says, What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. I'm just going to make this real, real quick, brief, and to the point. The reason why there are so many marriages and disarray in, in all relationships these days is because just this. But wherefore God had joined together. If God didn't put it together, you are wasting your time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now I'm going here. I'm going here. I'm going here. Most people are getting together because of a credit score, money, honey, funny. People didn't put them together. I'm going here. Most of y'all get with somebody. Not that you need. Y'all looking for somebody fine. I'm going here. I mean, hey, it's it's okay to, to like what you like. I'm not saying that, hey. But if they can't gird you in the spirit, man of God, woman of God, what you doing? What you doing? I'm going to tell you what you're doing. You're doing like Samson did. Samson kept playing with Delilah. Playing with Delilah. Playing with Delilah. And that's how it's going to happen. Point blank in the story. There is no other way to say it. You have to have self-control in this hour like never before. Y'all can't be letting sex drive you, money drive you, looks drive you. You know how many people I've walked away from in, in, in just three, four years alone? You my wife, you my wife. And people telling me, oh, you need a covering. My covering is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. How did the other prophets get covering? As a matter of fact, that's not even biblical. I said it. It's not biblical. Find it in the Bible. Y'all can't. You can't. You can't. But hey, some of you will try. Wait on God. Wait on God. I'm going to say it again. Wait on God. Too many of you are getting hurt and getting used and abused, said the Lord. I know it gets lonely. I know you get tired. I know it's just, it's rough. But you got to wait on God. Because what is it to get used and abused and then you're crying and now you're blaming God because you didn't wait on God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Men, I got to go here. Y'all see a big boot and y'all just go crazy. Women, y'all see certain biceps, triceps, no seps. Y'all just go. Y'all got to stop being moved by your eyesight. God, show me their spirit. Show me their spirit. Show me who they are in the spirit. You don't want to lay down to nobody that might kill you spiritually, physically, or both. Are you serious? <laughs> y'all better, y'all better open your eyes. Husband killing wives, wives killing husband, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But this stuff is happening because people are not counting the cost. Don't get with somebody just because they find they got a good credit score or they, they have a good name or you know them or the pastor know them. No. What does God say? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Until then, you're supposed to wait. Wait on God. Then when y'all get into that situation, y'all crying. And then y'all blaming God. Well, why God? You No, no, no. You didn't even consult God. You started dating that person, didn't even ask God. Hallelujah. And, the, and don't mess up and have sex with them. Now you got a soul tie. Hallelujah. I'm just saying count the cost. Because if God didn't put it together, surely the devil going to tear it apart. Hallelujah. And I'm not saying that when even when God put it together, you're going to have your trials. You're going to have your tests. You're going to have your tribulations. But you got to be strong in the Lord. Y'all got to fast. Y'all got to pray. Y'all got to abstain some time. You know, y'all can't be making love. Yeah, I'm talking to y'all married folks now. Y'all just want to have fun, man. Y'all better say, look, honey, let's take a week. out just pray and fast. That's how y'all going to last. The enemy hates marriage. What you think? Y'all sitting up there just having a grand time. Y'all better fight for your marriage. You better fight for your family. You better fight for you. Hallelujah. The enemy after us, he's not playing with us. He knows he has but a short time. So he pulling out all the stops. Y'all don't see? <laughs> better wake up if you don't. Hallelujah. So I just pray for everybody that's on here and those that will listen. Make good choices. Be strong in the Lord. Ask the Lord to hold you at night when you get lonely, when you get tired. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the enemy going to tempt you with everything that you like. Oh, he knows. He's been watching us. Oh, he's been watching us. He knows what you like, how you like it. Oh, yes, he do. Yes, he do. It's called, you know, I, I'm actually getting ready to release that book, uh, The Spirit of Residue. And I talk about that up in there. He's been waiting the whole time. The, his cousin's been waiting too. The spirit python draining you, frustrating you. Then greed, then jealousy, then lust. They all in the corner snickering. Talking about, yeah, we got him now. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? They, they dangle that carrot. And if you don't look in the inside, 
I promise you're going to be on the outside. I just say something. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah. 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 This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll lots of soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.